it's right? true. You never meet anyone. You never meet anyone that goes, ugh, Jack McBrayer. <laughs> never <laughs> once. <laughs> so much so, you pop up in the most unexpected places, because I was so surprised when I saw all of the photos from uh, Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra's we week-long wedding, <laughs> and I kept seeing all these photos, and then you were there, and I was like, how? how are you there? <laughs> how did it come about that you ended up at that wedding? I don't know. It was, uh, <laughs> I met the Jonas Brothers from way back when. Uh, they were the musical guests at Saturday Night Live, uh, gosh, in 2009, and we had just stayed in touch, and our, our paths had crossed since then. And the next thing you know, I'm flying to India for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> had you been before to India? Had you been? No, I am not a very well-traveled individual. Um, yeah, I've been to Canada, I've been to England, I've been to India, Eight. and I've been to the North Pole with Alexander Skarsgård. <laughs> Tell us about the wedding. What was the best part about it? I mean, I don't know what the worst part was. Yeah. It was a... Uh... No, the best part, I said. Well, I'm... Sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought you thought that I said the worst part. Why would I think that? I was telling you about a wedding in India. <laughs> uh, it lasts a week long. We were in a palace. A palace. Uh, it's one of those things where you get gifts after, like, every day of the wedding. Um, and so you come back to your hotel room and there's like something new on your bed, like a picture frame or a fancy scarf or cufflinks. And so because it lasts a week, you get so many gifts. On the last day, the gift is a piece of luggage to take the gifts home. Oh, that's smart. It's that's smart. very smart. I mean, that's good hosting. That's very that's smart. Good. That's class. It's elegant. Yeah. Alexandra, have you been to a, <laughs> have you ever done a fancy wedding like that? Actually, I went to Sophie and Joe's wedding. Shut up! I know! Is that true? Yeah. Well, my invitation got lost there. <laughs> I didn't see that. I didn't even get invited to either wedding. <laughs> um, this must have been especially great for you, Alexandra, because I know you, like I, you are a big boy band fanatic. You sent us this photo here of a young Alexandra on her way to yeah. a concert. What concert were you going to okay. here? Um, okay, so I am on my way to this concert, which is like a compilation concert that they used to do back in the day, where it was 98 Degrees, Justin Timberlake, uh, Christina Aguilera, Britney, like, it, they were all... The lumped. top of the pop parade. Exactly. Yeah. And I was ready, okay? Yeah. At that time, that choker, I kept that choker on for almost three years straight. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at this point it's like molded to my neck because it's called fashion. Yeah. Um, and then, like, late 90s, early 2000s, they had those like little jewels that you would put in your hair and mm -hmm. they're coming back, which really makes me excited. Yeah. But if anyone asked, I started that trend. That was all you. Uh, that was all That me. was all you going to see 98 degrees. Oh, and then, like, a, a cousin twice removed was one of their roadies. Stop. So we got to go backstage. No, you didn't. I met Nick Lachey. Oh, my God. <laughs> I lost my cookies. I was so sweaty, like I am now. <laughs> and I was just so obsessed. And I was like, oh, I was so... Like, I was speaking in tongues. Yeah. Like, fangirl tongues over 98 degrees. And they were like, who is this small infantile child having like a whole moment on the ground? And I was just, wow. I needed to be exercised. See, I always knew we'd get on. <laughs> I always knew we'd get on.